patrons. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get into something juicy today with this particular reading. So this reading is what would their drunk text or drunk message or drunk phone call? What would be the nature of what they would say to you if this person were to drunk dial you, drunk text you, any of those? As you can see, you have three decks to choose from. Before I get into which deck is which, if you are not watching this on Patreon, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that sub button as well as the bell notification. I drop videos weekly, Mondays, Tuesdays, Fridays, either all of those days or one of three or two of three, definitely. Uh, if you're not a patron, become a patron of mine. The tiers are $4 and below. This tier is only three. And I do exclusive giveaways just for my patrons. Also, uh, thank you, one, for all of you who uh, book readings and consultations and coaching sessions with me, uh, and to my patrons, I love you all. Thank you. Uh, if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session, check the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. All right, so without further ado, this is deck number one, deck number two, deck number three. Again, deck one, deck two, deck three. Pause the video see which of these uh, decks you feel resonate with you the most and come back when you're ready. Keep in mind, these are general messages. They will not resonate for everyone. It may not resonate for you at all. That's perfectly fine. Uh, take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. But overall, have fun. Be entertained. Deck number one, what would this person's drunk text say? We're also gonna get some Oracle cards too. Whenever I think of drunk messages, Joseph. Feel those. Ooh, so we got the four of chalices that came out in the reverse. So somebody is a bit of a peep in time. What I'm getting with this four of chalices, this person may already have been watching you, uh, deck number one in secret, or maybe this person like to watch. Um, maybe in regards to masturbation, maybe you know you all get frisky in that way. This person likes to watch. This person's voyeuristic in that way. But definitely, if this person's ignored you in the past, this is somebody who they're ready to come away from that. I'm feeling an arrogance over this person's energy. Kind of like, I ignored you, now I'm ready. Come back. This could be just for sexual pleasure. Be the nature of your message. Bottom of the deck, worth the waiting for. Yeah, I feel like this person's foreplay is, is holding out. Like this person is a bit of a tease. I'll be the nature of this person's text. We have remain positive. I want one more. Let's see what be the nature of this person's text message. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, for whatever reason, I feel like this person wasted your time. Or their big tease, all talk, no pleasure. Be the nature of this person's text message. The nature of this person's text message. A win-win is in the forecast. So definitely this person feels like a quicker energy. Maybe this was just a casual situation between the two of you. I feel like there's no serious true depth to this person in particular. But let's see. We have the, ooh, the devil card that came out in the reverse. Yeah, we got more teasing. So we got the energy of the devil right here. I feel like the, the, the nature of the text message, too, would be kind of sexual, sexual undertones. Maybe like a, hey, how you been? Remember when we used to, remember when I used to peek in on you while you, this person's definitely coming back to get you back more sexual minded. And I'm not feeling that they're revealing deep rooted issues for you or not deep rooted issues, but deep rooted feelings. We have the Ten of Swords that came out in the reverse. Look at that. Yeah. Look at the squeeze of the boob. Yeah, this is more sexual than anything. This is somebody coming back. Now, they're not going to come back in the message. And for some of you, you're watching this like, I'm not even that type of person. It doesn't matter. This person is only still seeing casual situations between the two of you. But yeah, I'm seeing them come back like, yeah, you remember when I used to, you know, remember that time at the movies? For some of you, this was the time at the movies. For some of you, I'm getting that you and this person, you definitely had a thing for outdoor loving, if you know what I'm trying to say. We have the moon card that came out in the reverse. This person could be a Pisces or a Capricorn. We got both of those signs. But yeah, with this moon card, I'm gonna examine this some more. Yeah, this was like a hidden situation. See how he's like flipping out of the window? The cloud is a woman. Yeah, there's a third party here. Or for some of you, it's not even third party. This person's seeing other people, dating other people, things of that nature. 
But yeah, this was something secretive. Either you or this person could have had feelings more invested in this person than the other, but yeah, look at that. Look at that dipping out of the window. With some sneak. Yeah, this person's coming back for a good time only. We got the Knight of Swords that came out in the reverse. Yeah, this person's not coming back for any true talk. Look at the cards that's coming out. This is, yeah, this is going to be sexual. The nature of their... Yeah, with this Knight of Swords, I don't know. And it's, this situation is hypothetical. This person could be, if they ever, you know, got out of control enough to drunk dial you, but it would be more sexual in nature. That's what I'm getting. Ooh, a lot of stuff in reverse. Look at that. You got the three of wands that came out in the reverse. Yeah, look at that. Good time. Not a long time. Even look at even look at the image. Oh, my goodness. He can't even get fully undressed for this. That's look, look at that. Jumping out of windows. Once again, fully clothed. And then you're the one that's open and vulnerable. Once again, you put yourself out on the line. Just look at the image of, you know, she's flashing the knight who's, once again, fully clothed, can go off. You know, you're servicing, you know, or you service this person and not even in a sexual sense, but you gave more into the situation than they were willing to put out for you. They were always dressed for a clean getaway. And I bet this one is in reverse too. Let's see, what did I tell you? And it's not like I haven't used these cards in a plethora of times. So definitely these came out in reverse because they came out in reverse. Yeah, the tower card. Yeah, it would, this, this wouldn't be something that was, that would lead to anything. So this person's drunk text, honestly, once again, look, servicing him. He's not diddling her. This would be a good time, not a long time. This person would kind of just, they're still in that playboy energy, playgirl energy. They just want what they want, and then they want to flee. So this wouldn't be anything. And even with that worth the waiting that's at the bottom of the deck, and this win-win, yeah, something quick. Let's see what came out in the Romance Oracle. We got let go of control issues. We got religious factors, which is more restriction. So what I'm getting with that is they couldn't actually be with you. So if this person was drunk dialing you and this was like a love of your life, they couldn't actually be with you. But if you're looking for a one-nighter, there you go. Then we have patience and red flags. Look at that. Look at all of that. This whole reading has been a red flag. This person can't. But they can't even give you consistent sex, but they can give you that one off because what I'm getting is this person may really loved you all's physical connection. That's what that is, but they can't be there for a serious, serious, serious. We have, look, action. Take action, and we have yes. So, yeah, all quickness. Emotions are running high. And then we have expect powerful change. So, what I'm getting, yeah, this would all be a quick rendezvous. If this person drunk text you, drunk message you, drunk whatever, everything would be surrounding sex. They would barely get out hello before they start propositioning you on the low low. And then for some of you like, but I'm not that type of person. You don't have to be this person. This is selfish energy. That's what I got. All right, deck number one, let me know how you all felt about that in the comment section below. Once again, if you're not watching this on Patreon, become a patron of mine. Tears are four and below. Uh, readings are weekly. Tuesdays, Mondays, Fridays, one of three, two of three, three of three uh, of those days. And any private readings, coaches, or consultations, check the pink comment below as well as the description box below. Give this video a like, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you care to. And let's move on to deck number two. All right, deck number two. Let's get into it. So if your person drunk texts you, what would be the nature of their message universe? Thank you for sharing the message. The nature of the message. Person, I actually want to go that way. Okay. Ooh, four of wands. This person might be divulging their deep, deep, deep emotions. For some of you, the person that you're asking, I feel like you already, with this person, you still have contact. The nature of the text message. Those who chose deck number two, one more. Peaceful resolution. Yeah, this is somebody that actually really cares about you. Like, not just surface level. Look at the nature of the text message. Those who chose deck number two. Look, reconciliation. Yep. Yeah. Somebody wants to come back. 
this person may be in another relationship or you may be in another relationship with someone and you might be surprised at the nature of this text message from this person or call. Give the message. Or the call. This person drop text. Give me two cards in the Okay, I want those two and these. I don't know if I want these, you all. Yeah, we're gonna go with those. You know what? Let's go. Nope, nope. Golden first hit. Give me one more. Meditate and contemplate. Yeah, this is somebody that's been thinking about you a lot. And I feel like the nature of their drunk text would be more revealing in their true feelings and emotions of wanting you back. Let's see, we have the Ace of Chalices. Look at that. That's love making. That's, I want to pleasure you. And I, and I want to I want to give to you before I get from you. I want us to share in this moment. Yeah, this is somebody that wants to restart love. But the thing about it is, I feel like this person, if they were to drunk text you, I feel like this person that you're asking about has moved on. I feel like you may feel that this person still burns a flame for you, but they're not saying it because they moved on. We got the Eight of Pentacles that came out in the reverse. We have the Six of Chalices that came out in the upright. So with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, once again, I feel like this is somebody who wants to come back but can't. They can't work on this because of circumstance, but they want at least a friendship. This is somebody who will reveal their deep emotions for you. Look at that Five of Pentacles. This is somebody who feels out in the cold. Either you've moved on romantically or they've moved on romantically for sure. And then we have the Nine of Chalices that came out in the reverse. This is somebody that's not satisfied. They would tell you that they made a mistake. That's what the nature of their text message would be or their call. This person would tell you they want you back for sure. They made a mistake in letting you go. They want to make, they love making love to you or they want to make love to you or they want to bring back the love. They want to be friends. This is somebody who would leave the person that they're with. I'm hearing you make me want to <laughs> by Usher. Leave the person that they're with just to be back with you. Let's see what came out of the Oracle. Listen to your intuition. Choose a new direction. Yep. They want to go towards you. Yeah, this is somebody, the person that you're asking about, they're dealing with someone new or you are dealing with someone new. Look, ask your angels. Look, meditate and contemplate. They've been thinking, praying, whatever about you. If they would ever allow themselves to divulge this drunkenly, they would tell you that they want you back. I'm here and I want you back by Jackson 5. Can it be I stayed away too long? Did I leave your mind when I was gone? That's what I'm here and I want you back. This person wants you. Look at that. Then we have show the world the real you. This is somebody that with enough courage, they wouldn't need to be drunk or inebriated in any way. A personal issue reaches resolution. Look at that. Surrender to the divine. Look at what did I tell you? They've been going to whomever they believe in, whatever they believe in about you. If you've been getting downloads, even in, in real time, this person, and I feel like you know this person still burns a flame, though they may not say it, but their drunken text messages would be, it wouldn't even be, I made a mistake, because they feel that it in letting you go. That's what I'm hearing. I, I made a mistake in letting you go. But this is somebody where it's like, nah, I want you back. Be with me. I want to just be with you, lay up, be in love, take care of you. Let's see, forgiving and learning. And then we have worth the waiting for a while. Yeah, once again, I told you there is some time. There's things in the middle. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse energy and it's worth the waiting for. There's things in the middle that they can't just do away with. But this is somebody maybe you forgave and learned from the situation. They forgave and learned from the situation. But the nature of their drunken text message would be, baby, I love you. You know, take me back. I want to be with you. All right, deck number two, that's what I have for you all. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, how did you feel about this reading? Uh, book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session with me. Or if you're not watching this on Patreon, become a patron of mine. The information is in the pink comment below as well as the description box below. And yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, like, like, like. And I'll be seeing you all in the next one. And let's get into it with deck number three. All right, deck number three, last but not least what the nature of their drunken message be towards you if they were to drunk and call you what the nature of their drunken message be
Okay, so we got stuff falling. With the nature of the trunk and the two cards. Got the two. Bottom of the deck. Ten of Wands. Someone wants to let go of a burden, but it's not you. I'm not feeling that in the energy whatsoever. Maybe they've tried to let go. The nature of the drunk and text universe. No, I'm not the nature of the drunk and text. And that one will be. Show the world the real you. Okay, now let's get one more. What would be the nature of that? Yeah, Oop, those two just jumped. The answers you need are coming. So that's the new bottom of the deck. The answers you need are coming. I feel like this is more or less hypothetical than the other two deck options. I feel like this is somebody who is not drunken though, but they will reach out to you. What would be the nature of the drunken text? Universe. Give me drunk and text flirt definitely flirty but see i'm not getting like a disrespectful flirty i'm not getting like a take off the clothes right now <laughs> what would be the nature of their drunk and text universe what the nature of drunk and text okay romance yep that's what i mean it's a flirty like a hey you know you know i always thought you were beautiful but not a you know rip them clothes off right now this person has more respect for you and they want to let go of something but they don't want to let go of you so let's find out what this is we have temperance that came out in the upright this person can be a sagittarius so you can be a sagittarius so you have the two of swords yeah once again this is a choice situation you make me want to maybe this person wants to give up the person that they decided to be with maybe this person wants to give up uh the lifestyle, maybe they're not with a set person, but they're dating around. But this is somebody that's, you know, willing to fight for the situation. We got the three of cups that came out in reverse. Yeah, this person, whatever type of situation they're in, they're not having fun. They're not having fun with their romantic partner or they're not having fun playing the field. Then we have the six of swords that came out in reverse. This is somebody that left you. They could have moved away. They could have just, this is somebody that left you high and dry. They want to come back. And then we got the nine of wands. Look at that. This is somebody that, that tried for whatever reason. Maybe this was a third party situation to begin with. And they thought, I'm going to do the right thing. Or maybe they felt, maybe career got in the way and they felt, I'm going to choose my career. But this is somebody that they went off, they saw, and it's like, nope, I want you back. I want to be with you. And I'm willing to wait and I'm willing to fight. This is waiting and fighting. <laughs> I'm willing to wait and I'm willing to fight. So definitely fire energy in this person. That's what I'm getting. So the nature of their text message would definitely be romantic. It would be flirting. It would be things of that nature. But it'd be cutesy at the same time. So this thing right here, this ten of wands, this letting go, they want to let go of whatever it is that they're in right now. Either the lifestyle, either another person. But they want to see if you're down, you know, like if you're going to be a, a for real option. Not even an option. If, if you could, if they could sincerely move on towards you. You know, without disrupting the flow of their life, whatever that is. We got to stay optimistic. Bless your love like the optimistic about the situation. Once again, this came out, again, this came out for deck number two. There's something in the middle. There's something that's restricting this situation, but they're, they're willing to drop it. And then we have you deserve love. Yeah, this is somebody, I feel like circumstance took you two away from each other. Whatever that was. And I don't even feel like it was... I feel like it hurt because it's, you wanted something with this person, but not because you didn't understand the circumstances. So let's see what else came out. We have peaceful resolution. Yeah, this, piece, this person, not only would they flirt, they'd apologize. There's something better. They feel like it's you. No. <laughs> and don't stop. So you see this back and forth energy. We got no, and then we got don't stop. So no, but keep going. And that's that split energy. That's that, where's that two of swords? That's that two of swords right here. Should I take a leap or should I not? This is somebody that, even though it's a hypothetical what they would do, they don't need to be drunk. They'll be sober and tell you this. And I feel like, you know, there's a high likelihood that you're going to hear from this person. You got you. Oh, my goodness. You deserve love and you are good enough. Look at that. This is somebody once again. And it could be a Virgo. Definitely feeling some fire energy. Um, I told you fire sign energy is coming through, too. 
but this is somebody that went off and did whatever and then they realized no i let go of a good thing i was happy believe in the impossible look at that somebody's coming back towards you the end of a tough cycle approaches more earth energy and then we have look at that one of these was a blue moon once in a blue moon watching that and then the energy is gaining momentum so with this particular person i feel like you're going to be either feeling it uh their energy more so amplified coming up or just with this person in general this is someone who this is definitely going outside of the hypothetical what would their text be like their text their drunken text or or message would be more romantic in nature but sweet not disrespectful not like yeah drop them draws but at the same time this is somebody that would take it further they would not only message you drunk but then they're going to message you sober this is somebody that, that wants you back. This is somebody that's a little bit embarrassed, too, about their actions. But what I'm feeling beyond the hypothetical, this is somebody that will come back in real life. And there is a likelihood. I'm hearing at least a 50% chance. For some of you, like, 50 is still, you know, that's half and half. It's still, though, in other situations, it's like if the person ever got drunk enough to do such a thing. But in this one, this is this person in real life, 50% chance is coming towards you. And I feel like more so than ever, maybe even 60 but there is a, a little bit of a delay in this because this person is working up the nerve. That's what I'm feeling with that. All right, deck number three. Let me know how you felt about that in the comment section below. Give this video a like, like, like. If you're not watching this on Patreon, become a patron of mine. Tears are for and below and then you get exclusive giveaways uh, with being a patron. And I thank you all who are patrons of mine. Also, uh, if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session with me, check the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.